Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. Coming up this week, we're going to talk about renting DVC points on this episode of The DVC Show. The DVC Show is brought to you by DVCStore.com. For more than 25 years, the DVC Store has been buying and selling Disney Vacation Club contracts. Let one of their licensed real estate experts welcome you home. You can visit them on the web at www.dvcstore.com or give them a call at 1-800-550-6493. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. Coming to you from the Bob Varley Studio in Orlando, Florida. I'm your host, Pete Werner, joined at the table this week by my good friends, Mr. Sean Falk. Hi. Mr. From the DVC store, Mr. Jerry Saito. Hello. Joining us via Skype, as always, Mr. Pete Shidley. Hey, everybody. And back uh, in the production nook, associate producer, Mr. Corey Fiescanaro. Welcome home. Nice Irish boy <laughs> with that name. Welcome to the show, folks. Hope your week is off to a good start. A um, couple of plugs uh, before we get started. I uh, just want to give another plug for DVC Store, our sponsor on this show and on the Diz for... God, over 20 years now, um, they've been uh, they've they've been part of our family. Um, but also, just want to remind everybody: if you are actually thinking about selling your DVC contract, it's a great folks to talk to, especially this one over help. on my left. We can help you. And uh, just give them a call: one eight hundred five five zero six four nine three, or visit their website. There's a lot of information there on the process of selling your DVC. Um, and, you know, people sell for a lot of different reasons. Sometimes, you know, life happens and you need to sell it. And sometimes it's, they're like, okay, we're going to sell, but we want to buy something different. And, you know, one-stop shop over here um, to yeah. handle all that. Absolutely. Also give a plug out to our friends over on disboards.com, uh, the DVC forums over on Disboards, where I get my information. Um, awesome resource there, as well as... Uh, if I do say so myself, my blog, dbcfan.com. Um, so, all right, enough of that. We're going to talk about renting DBC points. Um, this is a popular topic among, uh, among folks, both DBC owners and non-owners. Um, so, you know, for owners, sometimes uh, we need some extra points or, you know, whatever, and we'll rent them. Uh, and yes, DBC store can help you with point rentals, no question about that. But uh, uh, for a lot of people, um, A, it's a cheaper way to stay on property. Uh, for others, it's also a way to try DVC before you buy. Um, so, Jerry, we're going to pivot over to you on this discussion because you deal with this every single day. I have rented points. Um, as a matter of fact, I rented points from you guys recently. Right. Um, because for the 20th anniversary of Dreams Unlimited, my, my travel agency, uh, we had a lot of people coming in, and uh, I wanted to put folks up uh, in a treehouse over at Saratoga, and I was able to buy the points from you because I didn't have enough left <laughs> for this year, um, and got a good deal on the points, and was able to put folks in a nice, nice treehouse. Yeah, so, you know, the rentals are great because there's a lot of different way to, way to utilize them, um, meaning there are members who might not have enough points, so they want to book a reservation, but they're short. Disney will rent you 24 points if you need some. They charge $19 a point right now. but uh, Really? Yeah. So it's nice. It's a nice perk because let's say you're short two or three points, you, you borrowed everything, you don't have what you need. You know, Disney will let you get up to 24, which is great. But sometimes people need more than that. So, I mean, you can buy an, an unlimited number from, the, from us. I mean, we can help you with those extra nights you're missing. Somebody, like you said, who's just, just wanted to check out Disney Vacation Club or stay in a deluxe resort, you can rent. And that's a great, you know, and cheaper than Disney's prices. Now, uh, on average, you're going to pay about $17 a point right. to rent. Um, so if you're looking at, uh, uh, you know, you're looking at a studio for a week, and let's say it goes for 100 points, it's going to cost you $1,700. Right. Um, and that's the out-the-door cost. There's, like, no hidden fees or taxes or anything like that. Now, if you go to Alani, there is a, a transit tax that they charge, but otherwise, it's just $17 point. And, but I think the thing, the first thing I want to make really, really clear with point rentals, um, a mistake a lot of people make is that, bless you, 
Um, they think that you know, I'm going to I'm gonna call DBC store and I'm going to rent points and I'm going to stay at the Grand Floridian next month. No. And I don't care where you go. I don't care who you go to to rent your points. That's not going to happen. Um, you are bound by the same things DBC members are bound by. And that's availability. And this is especially true in uh, October, November, and December. Those months, like right now, if I want, I may be able to get one night somewhere right now. Um, we're recording this in late August. As a matter of fact, we're recording this just days before Dorian is scheduled to hit us. Um, hoping it doesn't. But um, I, I couldn't get anything. So thinking that, oh, you know what? You know, we're going we're gonna to hop down in a few weeks. So let's rent some points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to try and do this as early as as possible at least within the seven month within the seven month window for that resort because that's kind of when these points are going to be valid um because we see it all the time that's like the number one thing is people don't realize that you know it's not like calling disney because the room's available and i can make a reservation right though it had the, ha the points the the, the 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 hotel has to be available for points Correct. Resort has to be available for points. Um, and so, go ahead, Pete. So when you say rent points, though, from from the DVC store, really aren't you kind of renting a reservation, though, as well? I mean, because I mean, how does that work? Is that I mean, there's two things, right? You can either transfer the points to your account if you're a DVC member, but if you're not a DVC member, if I call Jerry to rent points, um, he's going to also get me the reservation isn't that right sort of I'm, I'm basically checking availability like every other member so i'm logging in i'm checking availability uh we have a form you'd fill in basically i'd send back what disney has available for the dates you want the room sizes that are available and it's not we're not just gonna you know you might have had one option on that form but we're gonna let you know what disney has available for those dates for different resorts different size villas so we kind of check it all yeah and and transferring points um you know, they'll have points available for transfer. That's different than the rental process. Right. Right. Um, and that's a whole that's a whole nother show. Um, so for the purposes of this discussion, we're talking about the renting of points. This is DVC members that have called the DVC store, reached out to them. Or non-members. Or non or, or, well, no, I'm saying that DVC members that have reached out to you that are wanting to rent out their points... Um, and then, so they have, they know that they've got, you know, okay, this member has 300 points and their home resort is Polynesian. And so, you know, we can, they'll work the system within, you know, appropriate measures. They're not going to do anything on their underhanded or, no. or, you know, well, Jerry can get a little oh, sketchy. Come on now. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, um, and then they'll check the availability and, set it up the member then has to go ahead and make the reservation because you can't do that correct yep and uh you know makes the reservation in your name and and then when you get to the res i mean you can add the dining plan to the reservation you can add magical express to the reservations but basically once you arrive you would go to the front desk you'd show your id and then you check in correct it's a reservation in your name now it what is important though if you are Adding the dining plan, correct me if I'm wrong, that must be paid for in full at the time of reservation. Correct. So it's not a scenario where you're going to pay when you get to the resort. At the time you make the reservation, the dining plan needs to be paid for. Correct. Um, and so that I want to make sure we talk about. Yeah, as well as the Magical Express, you're going to need to provide your flight information. If, if you're obviously flying in, you want to utilize that service, you have to provide that up front, or, or at least within 31 days before check-in. Uh, you can give it to us last minute, but you're not going to get lug luggage tags, so you'd have to go claim your own bags and then go down to the Magical Express uh, transportation and just you know tell them you have a reservation. So it works a little different. And more times than not, this is a cheaper way of staying at deluxe resorts at Walt Disney World than if you went and did it did it directly. Um, oh, definitely. And I mean, sometimes I've seen you can save you can save a fortune um, doing it this way, especially if you have this is especially valuable if you have a larger group. 
um, and you need, you know, when you start getting into having, you know, you've got 10 people and you're, you're having to get two or three hotel rooms. Uh, for, well, let's say t- tens of tens of big, let's say you've got seven, seven, you've got to do, you know, uh, two or three hotel rooms versus getting a two bedroom DVC unit. Um, plus you have the, uh, you have the kitchen, full kitchen in those units in the one, two and three bedroom units. You have the full kitchen. And, um, uh, I know that the folks I put in the tree house at Saratoga were like loving it. They were just blown away by by how nice it was so you've got really nice accommodations you've got a lot of things you don't get with or even if you were to get a suite let's say we get like you know which is going to run you a suite at any of the deluxe resorts minimum fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars a night and you're not going to get the kitchen you're not going to get that full kitchen um, but you can also you know there are times that those rooms are available through disney directly the dvc rooms um but a lot of times they're much more expensive than if you if you rent out the points. What are the most important things you want to let people know before they contact you? Well, I guess having certain expectations. I mean, we would love to be able to book every reservation. We get requests all day long, but A, we're basing it off availability. We, we can't magically make a room appear, so that room has to be available. And then there, we, you know, if it's more than seven months in advance, we have to have that resort available, meaning the member who owns Polynesian, for example, has to have said, you know what, I don't want to uh, use my points this year, I'm going to put them up for rent. So if, if somebody wants Polynesian, that's more than seven months out, we have to have that in order to book it. We have to have Polynesian points, because yeah. only those points are good Correct. 11 months or, or between seven and 11 months out. Exactly. So I, I think just having that expectation, and we do offer a wait list, and you know, if, if, if we don't have the points available, we'll still quote the price, we'll still give you all the information, but... Uh, you may end up on a wait list until we get the points. Then we contact you and say, okay, we can do it now. So just to have that in mind that it usually works out, but um, sometimes it doesn't. So, you know. Yeah. And ironically, uh, I have another. Oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. I have another question for you, Jerry. Um, so let's say you just mentioned the Polynesian. Let's say someone is renting out uh, three, 200 points at the Polynesian, but the reservation only requires 190 points. Does the renter have to rent the full 200 points, or do they just rent the, the 190 and then the owner has 10 points left over? So that's that's a really good question. We we it the member wants us to eliminate their points, so we try to get as close to zero as possible. Um, it may take three or four reservations. It may take one reservation. Sometimes members are left with a couple points, but the idea is to leave them with as close to zero as possible. So. It, so, they don't have to rent them all, if, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, to answer so, your so question. The rent, so the renter only pays for the number of points that the reservation actually correct. requires. So that's, correct. Okay. that's correct. That's um, correct. So I, it's ironic y'all started talking about Polynesian because I was pulling up dates to see like what exactly would, would compare. So, I mean, right now at around the seven-month mark, which – Currently, we're talking February to March time frame. It's going to be seven months from now. Um, so I pulled up my account because now I'm a DVC member, so I can do that. <laughs> so um, I pulled up to see what's available in the seven-month window. And um, Polynesian st- uh, uh, Deluxe Studio is available March 5th through the 12th, which is a week around spring break time. So that is currently available as a DVC member. It's 169 points so if you were to rent 169 points from the dvc store um that would be two thousand eight hundred and seventy three dollars is what you'd spend for that week for up to five people can be in that room um if you booked it directly with disney i also have that number pulled up it would be five thousand five hundred and fifty four dollars yep so you're gonna save about twenty seven hundred dollars so literally it's almost cut in half by you doing that and let's say you're going down with friends you're like let's do a spring break thing from college whatever um and if you split it with five people you're paying 574 a piece for a full week in you know the polynesian in one of the 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 bung uh, not the bungalows then the uh uh deluxe studio so you really can save a lot of money especially if you're diligent and you're looking like if you want to plan that seven month out 
and easily there's 169 points available for sure. I haven't looked in a bit, but there's always points around to be able to figure this out. And I, I, I want to say, and, and I think most people that have stayed in both would agree with me, but I'll speak only for myself. Um, the DVC Deluxe Studios at Polynesian are nicer than the hotel rooms. Um, I, I think would, yeah, I would agree. I think they're better appointed. If you get a lake view, is what it's called. Uh, we had one when we did our seven and seven. We had a lake view. We were on the third floor of that building, yep. um, and had an un- basically an unobstructed view of the castle. Mm-hmm. Fiasco and his wife took the room that night, yep. and were able to watch the fireworks from that room. Um, a fireworks view, or, you know, a theme park view room at the Poly is insane. Now, here's the thing, though, with the Poly. Just I want to mention this. Um, this only applies if you are on, like, the second or third floor. If you're on the first floor, you're staring yeah. at the bungalows. Yep. Um, and, of course, then there's the garden view, which also really nice view. There were no bad views at the Poly. And I said, said this before, and I'll say it again. I stated a number of DVC resorts at this point, uh, and I've also seen almost all of them. Uh that room at the Poly was the nicest one, the nicest studio I've seen yet. And the room service is definitely above average. Because you can, get oh, you can order Ohana mm-hmm. for room service. Uh, you can have the Ohana meal brought to you for room service at the Poly, which is really cool. Now, it's, you know, I don't want to go into a whole thing on the Poly because you can rent, the, you can rent points at any of the, uh, of the DVC resorts. But it is a great way to... It's a, it's a great way to experience DVC before you buy in. It's a great way to save money on, you know, if you're not interested in being a DVC member, you just want to go to Disney World, it's a great way to do it. Sean's point is well taken that if you're going down with a group of people for spring break, it's, you know, a great way to split it up among, among five people. Um, so there's lots of ways to do this, lots of ways to use these points. Uh, if you're interested in renting points, dvcstore.com. Give them or give them a call, 1-800-550-6493. And, uh, and if members want to rent out their points, again, we can help you with that too. So if you, Well, if that's always, you know, that's the most important thing is that they, you, 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 I don't care who you talk to, they need inventory. They can't rent anything if they don't have it. So if you want to rent out your points, give these guys a call and uh, let them help you out. So. Oh, I, I, just before we go, I will say I just looked up as well to see like what that 2800 would get you for those same dates. Like if you were going to get – so if you rented the points, you could get the Polynesian for that. The $2,800 is – for about $26, you are able to currently get uh, the week at the uh, Caribbean Beach Resort. So essentially, I mean, you're getting to stay at the Polynesian for – The price of the Caribbean Beach. Pretty much about the price of the Caribbean Beach. So, yeah, it's – you can really – you know, make the most out of it and stay in some of these deluxe resorts. And even right now, I mean, Grand Floridian's available for a one bedroom. Um, Bay Lake Tower was available, so you can still get these Magic Kingdom views and be right near the parks if you if you want that. But that's the the, the most important thing I got to leave you with: do it early. Yeah. Don't do. Right. Don't look to rent these points last minute. You're going to be disappointed. I don't care who you call. I don't care where you go. You're going to be disappointed. So do this early. You know, if you're willing to plan your dining six months out, it's not a stretch to say, let me plan my resort seven months out. Yeah. Right? Yep. So, all right. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of our show. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again next week with another edition of the DVC Show. Have a great week, folks.